Hi everybody, it's Ellen and I wanted to come on real quick and share with you a recent book haul that we've had for the month of November. And these were purchased from Usborn, Amazon, and Barnes and & Noble. And I'll tell you which I've gotten from where and then I'll flip through so you can kind of see what's inside. And then we have one from the library too that we've currently been reading through the series. And I'm still debating on whether or not to purchase the series, but for now, we're just going through the ones that the library actually has. So let's take a look at these books. So the first book that we got from Usborne was Greek Myths, and it's it's a small book, but um, it just goes through some of the mythology from ancient Greece, and it works well with our story of the world, um, ancient Greece section. So not too many pictures, but I like the font. I, I don't. I don't know why, but I like the font of the book and the few pictures that they do have are also nice for the kids to look at. The next Usborne book that we got was Illustrated Grimm's Fairy Tales. And since we are part um, German, I felt that this was an important book to have. Although some of the stories can be a little gruesome, um, I still think that it's important to know the origins of some of the stories like Little Red Riding Hood. And for those of you that don't know, um, Little Red Riding Hood in America is like a very nice story, whereas the original Grimm's fairy tale, the um, the wolf actually eats the grandmother and eats Red Riding Hood, and then the um, hunter comes and he ends up cutting his stomach open, and for whatever reason, Red Riding Hood and her mother survive, and they fill his stomach up stomach up with rocks and then he ends up dying that way so a little bit different than what is usually told in America but I do think that this these are great stories that I do want to share with my children the next Usborn find were these shine a light books so they have basically um, you have a story and then what you do is you can shine a light behind and then see what is behind whatever the picture is and then on the next page it'll show it to you so here you shine a light and the kids enjoy these because they get to use a flashlight so we got two from them one construction sites for my middle son Kai who loves trucks and then space space station for my oldest who loves space the next us born find was the lift of flap computers and coding actually I think I got this off Amazon though um the other ones I got at a, a holiday bazaar that they had recently in Montana but um with these they have you know lift the flaps so they can go underneath and see the different parts of computers and understand coding a bit and the storing how computer stores with binary numbers and my oldest has already read through this book probably two or three times. The flaps kind of turn if you don't put them all, close them all the way. But still, I love the book and I've actually learned some things reading through this. So this is an excellent book that I would recommend to everyone. This is our last Usborne book haul for November. And for my daughter, who loves princesses, I don't like this book because it says that it's reusable stickers but it we use it one time and it pretty much stays there and if we try to reuse them then they start lifting up and um, if she holds it in her hand too long then the oils I guess or maybe the lotion that she has on her hands I'm not sure they kind of get on the stickers and then they they won't stay on here anymore so if you just get it just to use a couple times and then, you know, you're over it, then that's fine. But like long term, I don't think this is a, a good book long term, at least not for us. And my daughter is two. So um, and maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. But it's a cute book if you just don't think long term with it. So I shared back in a video, I think it was either September or October, I shared that we got Nature's Anatomy. So we also got Food Anatomy in November. And if you weren't able to see it before, um, I really enjoy the simplicity of the 
illustrations in here and I just felt that they were they offer really good explanations of almost everything science so this we use in addition to our science curriculum and we just sometimes just read through it just to look at the different whatever question that we have about science basically this one really goes into food and the history of certain foods and everything food related and I think this is a really great book and it doesn't necessarily have to go with like a, a science curriculum but just like a, a book to read for fun so I really love these two books by Julia Rothman so not really homeschool related but family related I got this from Barnes and Noble and I thought it would be a nice book to use to start breaking down like family history and um, it has places for photos, it has places for explanation on family and childhood stories for myself and husband. And so I just want to create this book for my children to see our family history in one place. Another Barnes and Noble haul. We got everything you need to ace world history in one big fat book. And this is not necessarily to go with our curriculum, but I just really like how the book was laid out and thought it would be just a good book to have in the house and to read through every now and then, um, depending on, you know, where we are in our history. We can just look in here and see what how they've presented it. The last book that we've been reading through, we got this from the library and I'm still debating on whether to actually buy the whole series, but for any case, Stein, and my oldest loves this one. We've read, um, we started with The Friend of Date, and then we've read Lunch Walks Among Us, and then we've also read this one right here, and I cannot, the writing is so small, I cannot see that, but um, it's about a little girl who is a mad scientist and lives in this nice house and her family are all quote unquote normal people. But she has this like science lab and it kind of reminds me something like Pinky and the Brain because she has a little dog, Igor, that um, helps her basically. So I like this book because there are still plenty of illustrations for my four year old to stay engaged. And my oldest doesn't feel overwhelmed when reading this by himself because the illustrations kind of break up the reading for him. But it's a it's a cute little series and it's it's fun watching how she interacts with the world being a tad bit different and obsessed with her science creations. Fun book. Thank you for watching our book haul for November. I hope you enjoyed some of the books and maybe wrote down some that you can get for your family. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and have a great day.